Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Man, it just rolls off the tongue so well. Last time we completed the actual forest dungeon, this time we just have to beat the boss. So with the boss key we acquired from the intricate quest chest, not the quest, um, we will enter this boss room. Now this is actually one of the pretty awesome boss fights. As you can see, we are surrounded by paintings. Um, there's a Triforce on the ground. If we just look around, there's not really much here. So let's let's just leave. Oh wait! We can't. So that will trap you in, and that actually at triggers the boss fight against Ganon himself. But not quite. We're not fighting him quite yet. This isn't really Ganon. This, my friends, is Phantom Ganon. The boss, the evil spirit from beyond, is Phantom Ganon. He's actually a clone that Ganon made of himself to stop us, but it's not going to work very well, as you will see. So we actually need to look around and shoot the painting that we see him in. Oh crap, he's in the one behind me. Crap, 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 crap. Okay, he got me. So you actually have to shoot him when he comes out. So let's keep looking. Sadly, I looked at the only painting that it came out of. Alright, so here he is. So we just... Did that work? Oh no, that was a fake one! Oh dear god, what? Well, we are almost dead. Like I said, if anything, this will be the room I die on. Thank god I have two extra fairies. Okay, this is the real one. Shoot, shoot, and that'll hit him. So this is just the first phase of the fight, let me remind you. Well, not remind you, but let me tell you, that's just the first phase of the fight. We still have to hit him like two more times. This seems to be the real one, so... Oh, crap. It's not, it's not, it's not. Ah, uh, And we're dead. But what is this? We have a fairy. Oh, you thought you had us. You thought you had us. But no, I now have ten hot containers. So, suck it. Suck it, Trebek. Oh, crap, he hit me. Anyway. Dang, that, that horse turned around at the wrong time. Okay, we have one here. Nothing adjacent to it, though. Okay, so it's the real one. Alright, good. So yeah, it's pretty much a guessing game for the most part. Kind of. Um, it still takes skill, no doubt. Um, okay, there's one here, but not one in the ones adjacent to it. It's the real one, so go ahead and shoot him. And that's three times that will activate the second phase of the fight, where we get to play a little bit of tennis. So throw an ice ball at you, or not an ice ball, but a light ball. And, er, actually I think it's plasma actually and we basically have to play tennis with them I know it's an overused concept in Legend of Zelda games but you know what deal with it deal with it so you basically want to stay locked on and hopefully we can hit them one of these times it'd be nice why aren't we hitting them oh god okay so don't stab actually we want to slice okay or we can just get hit by another you know plasma ball that'd be nice Oh dear god, please just hit Ganon. I'm pretty sure you can't use... Oh, there we go, there we go. So we're just gonna go to town on him. And he will fly back up, and we get to play more tennis. Uh, this is actually Mario Tennis, guys. Um, oh, oh, crap, crap, crap. I forgot, he starts volleying it back after a while, so... Oh no, not this close, not this close. Okay, apparently it's harder for him to hit it, too, if it's too close. I should probably start doing a jump attack. That does more damage. Um, so go ahead. Actually, if anything, I should probably use the big Goron sword. Uh, nah. I think it's actually only a Master Sword can repel this, so I'm not gonna take my chances with the big Goron sword. So yeah, he's volleying it back like a man. And he missed. So we're gonna jump attack and do a normal attack and a normal attack and a normal attack. Okay, I think you're actually supposed to kill him, but I hesitated a few times because I thought I was gonna get up. So yay me for sucking. Anyway. Oh crap, dude. I suck at this, apparently. Yay, getting ready for one of the future boss fights. Um, uh, just saying, this is like... This is kind of a sneak peek of a different boss fight that we'll get to later. And that hit him, so we're going to... Kill him in one hit, okay. And that, ladies and gentlemen was the boss of the first Adult Link Temple. How do you like it? I love it. Hey kid, you did quite well. Looks like you may be gaining some slight skill. 
but you have defeated only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. Au contraire. What a worthless creation that ghost was. I'll banish it to the gap between dimensions. So yeah, that was Ganon directly speaking to us. Not really directly, but he was speaking to us nonetheless. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the Forest Temple. And that also means we will be able to get another heart container. Also, we can now change back into Young Link. Where there are a couple of things... I'm sorry, I just burped a little there. Where there are a couple of things that I want to do. So, yay, more side quests after this temple. Well, t well, this temple took, like, what, a good five episodes? So, yeah, we need a little break from temple running. Or, what is it, temple runner? It's, I don't know. Ooh, we're back in the Chamber of Sages. Oh, yeah, I forgot about it. We go back into here. Yeah, that's cool. Six minutes, not too bad. All right, I'm going to be quiet for most of this, so enjoy. We receive the Forest Medallion. Saria awaken, awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. So, yep, there's our second medallion. As I said earlier, um, it was kind of planned... Oh, Saria will always be our friend. Heck, yes. Uh, we can still talk to her uh, when we're kids, so don't be too worried. Anyway, we're back here outside of the Deku Tree. Um, but like I said, that medallion does look like it has a wind pattern on it. So it does seem like... Uh, the programmers were trying to make a wind temple out of it, but actually went with the forest temple. So there you go. Bit of trivia. And dear God, what is that? Well, this, ladies and gentlemen, is the new Deku Tree. Hi there, I'm the Deku Tree Sprout. Because you and Saria broke the curse on the forest temple, I can grow and flourish. Thanks a lot. Well, you are so very welcome, good sir. Hey. Have you seen your old friends? None of them recognized you with your grown-up body, did they? That's because the Kokiri never grow up. Even after seven years, they're still kids. You must be wondering why only you have grown up. Well, as you might have already guessed, you are not a Kokiri. You are actually a Hylian. Oh, so sexy. I'm happy to finally reveal the secret to you. Well, that's pretty awesome. So yeah. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. More cutscene. Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule unified this country, there was a fierce war in our world. One day, to escape from the fires of the war, a Hylian mother and a baby boy entered this forbidden forest. The mother was gravely injured. Her only choice was to entrust the child to the Deku Tree, the guardian spirit of the forest. The Deku Tree could sense that this was the child of destiny, whose fate would affect the entire world, so he took him into the forest. After the mother passed away, the baby was raised as a Kokiri, and now, finally, the day of destiny has come. You are a Hylian, and we're always bound to leave this forest. And now, you have learned your own destiny, so you know what you must do. That's right, you must save the land of Hyrule. Now, Link, break the curses on all of the temples and return peace to Hyrule. Oh, I will be sure to do that. And, uh, we're only at about 10 minutes here, so we can go ahead and do a few more things. Now, uh, we can actually now, uh, return to, um, the, uh, Temple of Time, so we can become a child again. 
to get some of the things I didn't get done initially done. Which will be awesome, so yay. So, um, there's not really much more to do here. I guess I'll just meet with y'all when I get to the Temple of Time, so see ya! Alright everyone, we are back outside of the Temple of Time. That only took like a minute and a half to get here. So now that we're here, we will go right back to the pedestal where we pulled the Master Sword. And we will actually be able to... Oh, wow. Rolling into stairs. Big characteristic of Legend of Zelda games. Anyway, we have another uh, cutscene with Sheik here. The time will come when you will have to return here quickly. I will teach you this for when that time comes. The song to return you to the Temple of Time, the Prelude of Light. We have learned the Prelude of Light. <laughs> as long as you hold the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword, you hold time itself in your hands. Link, we shall meet again. Get nuts! And there, now we are free to turn back into a young Link as we please. Um, sorry if that cutscene just like jumped a bit there. We kind of lost a few frames. My bad. Anyway, uh, yeah, apparently Studio Import from Pinnacle Studio isn't really the best thing to use. But as you can see, we are a child again. And as you can also see, we cannot use many of our items, including the claim check. We can't use um, the arrows, the hookshot. We can't use either of these swords or the iron boots because all of those items are adult exclusive. Good enough though, we can use the golden scale while we are still a child, though not that you really need to. So, now that we are a child, um, we still have plenty of time here. I'm going to go back into uh, Castletown, and look at that. It's a world that's not actually destroyed by everything. And there's actually a normal summit to Death Mountain now. I, I always liked how you can see Death Mountain from the Temple of Time. That's pretty cool. Anyway, a freaking market that's not actually like freaking destroyed. Um, before we do anything, um, first off, I want to go into here. No, no, not here yet. Um, let's see. I'd rather do this. I'd rather do this right now. So when we're in here, we actually have a shooting gallery with the um, slingshot, and you actually get a piece of heart if you win. It's 20 rupees per play. Not like we're any, not like we're out of rupees. Okay, this game is for grown-ups. Hyrule's famous shooting gallery. Take aim at the targets from that platform over there. Can you hit 10 targets? You get 15 shots. Draw your weapon with B. Are you ready? Go for a perfect score. Good luck. And of course, that is what I'm going for. So hopefully I'll be able to get this. Oh god. Okay, got that one. Got that one. Thank god you can miss a few shots. So, doing well too so far. Don't get too cocky, Star Fox. Um, now I do believe they go running across the top. Okay, and do they go running across the top again? Oh, did I just miss the last one? I totally did. God dang it. Oh well, at least we get to try again for free since we almost did it. So let's do this again. I'm pretty sure they all come up in the same order as they always do, so... If memorization works for you, then use memorization. I mean, why not? Uh, so far this is only the second try, so I really shouldn't get two balls. Oh well, I'm going to try and get all of them except for that one. Just so I can um, 
get the free try again. Okay, yeah, so I missed all of them except, or no, I didn't miss all of them. Got all of them except for that blue one. So as long as you just miss one, you can do it for free. So no worries. Hakuna Matata. So blue one, blue one. Got them both that time. Actually, I don't think that was the one I missed. Got this one. Got that one. Got that one. Now for the red ones. Okay, almost got it. Now I just need to get these two. Mm -hmm. I missed. Oh well. Alright, we get to try one more time for free. Yeah, like it's going to be one more time. Anyway, uh, should I even be talking? I might as well. Uh, so what to talk about? I'm just shooting rupees. Uh, nice desert background they got there. Looks like a little. Looks like a lot like Arizona. I've been to Arizona. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I forgot these are blue ones, not red ones. Now we do the red ones. So come across red ones. Get those. Move down a bit. Get that one. Get that one. Yes, I got them all. Wonderful. Bravo. Perfect. Here's a fantastic present. And we get the Deku Seeds Bullet Bag. Um. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to win again, aren't you? Do you want to play a game? It's 20 rupees per play? Yes. Alright, so I'm going to see if I win a heart piece for this. If it's if I don't win a heart piece, then it was just for the bullet bag. Which, of course that's okay. I'm trying to get 100% here. Don't blame me. I just got to doubly make sure. I don't want to mess up. So it shouldn't be too hard this time since I got it down. Here we go. A bouncing green one, more blue. Oh, missed. Oh, missed. Okay, that's okay. I get extra shots for a reason. That almost was too low. And bam, and bam. Oh, really? Game, you're gonna do this to me. Alright, we're gonna try one more time for free. Hopefully this is the last time. We get a blue. We get a blue. Get a Look this, look that. Oh god, I wasn't ready for that, just saying. Okay, got those two. Now I'll just worry about the red ones. Bam, bam. And bam, bam. Okay, got them all. Do I get a um, heart piece for this? No, 50 rupees. Okay, so I basically just got my money back. So yeah, that was for the bullet bag. I do believe this episode is long enough. So next time we'll actually do a couple of more side quests as Young Link. Until then, goodbye, see you next time, hope you have a wonderful day.